The Indian government owns 75.15% stake in Hindustan Aeronautics, and as per latest reports, the government is planning to sell around 3.5% stake in Hindustan Aeronautics Limited this week, that could fetch about 28.67 billion rupees for the government. The government has mopped up 311 billion rupees by selling its shares in state-run firms so far, and has set a target of 500 billion rupees for the current financial year ending on 31st March. The Defence Ministry has signed two separate contracts with Bharat Electronics Limited worth 3,700 crore rupees. The first contract is worth over 2,800 crore rupees for the supply of Arudra 4D multifunction phased array medium power radars for the Indian Air Force, while the second contract is worth 950 crore rupees for the supply of 129 Drew TDR-118 radar warning receivers for Su-30 fighter jets of the Indian Air Force, that will warn the Su-30 pilots of potential hostile airborne and ground-based radar activity from over 200 kilometers, and will considerably enhance the electronic warfare capabilities of Su-30 aircraft. The 6X Air India Airbus A319 aircraft is currently being stripped out of unwanted technology, and will undergo a complete maintenance repair and overhaul, after which work on external structures will begin, that will house sensors and other military-grade technology. The Airbus A319 based Netra Mark II will be ready for induction from 2027 onwards. Chennai-based Hawking Defence Services has signed a procurement come partnership agreement with Australia-based Amphibian Aerospace Industries, to establish a unit in Tamil Nadu to manufacture components of Albatross 28-seater amphibious aircraft, and MRO services for the amphibious aircraft, and the agreement includes the confirmation of procurement of a single Albatross 28 aircraft by Hawking Defence Services. Hawking Defence Services will invest 1,000 crore rupees in the next five years, and this aircraft will be offered to both civilian and defence sectors. A private sector company ACSG Corporation has begun research and development work to develop low-cost aerostats, that will be equipped with high-resolution sensors for applications such as aerial surveillance and regional atmospheric data collection, and depending on the payload and range of surveillance, these aerostats can be launched to a nominal altitude of 300 meters to 4,600 meters from sea level for operations. Private sector firm Data Patents India Limited has unveiled the 27th BrahMos missile checkout equipment, that will soon be delivered to BrahMos Aerospace. The missile checkout equipment validates the complete performance of the BrahMos missile through interfacing with its maintenance connections, thus ensuring readiness for launch on demand. The Indian Army and the Indian Air Force conducted a 96-hour multi-domain air land exercise known as Vayu Prahar in the Eastern Theatre, to validate plans to execute synergized operations. The joint exercise included rapid mobilization of a rapid reaction force, transportation and deployment of forces within a theatre to undertake air-landed operations at a nominated advance landing ground as well as contingency tasks according to a realistic exercise scenario in challenging high-altitude terrain conditions.